this is pretty. I want to add this to the template library, can I? Sure. <laughs> ah, so beautiful. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Hello, hello. Take a moment to settle in, get comfortable. Adjust everything you need in order to dive into today's session. We're playing some music here, and if you want to adjust the volume of that, you can do it locally on your computer using the menu at the bottom of your screen. And while we get comfortable, you can also share with us what emotion you represent your day to day by placing your mouse on the flashcard of the screen. Tell us with a click what you're experiencing right now. some curious people, some calm people, a little bit of sadness, what else is there in the room? Tell us with, uh, with a click. Yeah, fine. Thank you, Ana Maria, for opening the chat for us. Use that to share your location with us today. you have some sun in Romania it's been uh, quite cold and cloudy here winter is coming Lisbon rainy day in Lisbon <laughs> nice all right so since uh, I think everybody has settled in i'm going to ask you a new question next which is how familiar are you with butter which is this video app that we're using today i'm wondering whether this is your first time here using this app or uh, you know what it is you've been uh, you've been using it before again just put put your mouse on that scale on the flashcard so that we know whether you we need some quick onboarding here too. And let me stop the music as well. I think everyone's buttered up. Yeah, it looks like it. So I think we need to go with this one, right? Which is great. Yeah. Then if we have discovered, I think it's it's time to actually go into the main session. And uh, yeah, I just want to welcome everybody one more time. I'm Andrea. I'm a coach and trainer and the Butter community member where I run the Sandbox Initiative together with uh, Ana Maria and Vandiha. And as you probably know, the Sandbox is just a place for us to play around with uh, facilitation skills, with different methodologies, with workshop ideas, with different techniques. Um, yeah, so that we can uh, develop our skills in, in facilitation and get feedback from from our peers uh, this is why these sessions are recorded so um uh, so that we can um, make make learning available to everyone who, who couldn't be here with us today and our host for this session is valeria uh, she's a training facilitator she's a project lead for the rnd shakers marketplace uh, and also a dedicated practitioner of uh, mindfulness and yoga for more than 13 years. Wow, Valeria, that's amazing. 
um, yeah, and I think she will she will really uh, make a great session for us today, uh, where we get to explore some mindfulness techniques. But yeah, it's um, it's not my place to to tell you more. Valeria, take it away. <laughs> uh, thanks, Andrea, and hello, everyone. Um, this is my first session, so I will be honest with you. I'm a bit nervous, but uh, I try to calm down, and uh, I hope you all enjoy. Um, some tools that uh, I prepared for today. Thank you for all your hearts. So a bit about myself. I am Valeria. I am a mom of uh, a small uh, baby um, girl. I'm also a wife um, uh, and I'm, uh, as Andrea mentioned, I'm a yoga lover for more than uh, 13 years. Um, and uh, I'm also passionate about uh, learning and development. Uh, and that's the reason why I'm here today. I would like to practice my facilitation and uh, presentation skills. And uh, thank you all uh, for being here today with me. I would like to um, to move further, and um, you all mentioned the title of our session today, which is mindfulness. And um, I'm pretty sure that all of you heard of the word mindfulness, and now it's getting more and more popular. But what does mindfulness mean uh, for you? So um, please uh, give your thoughts in the poll. What do you think or what mindfulness for you is? Mindfulness is being present in the moment, being present and aware, being present, uh, present in whatever we do, enjoy the presence, aware of emotions, surroundings. Wow. Thank you. I see that we have an experienced audience, and uh, uh, it feels like uh, some of you already practice uh, the mindfulness. So indeed, uh, um, mindfulness is everything that you just mentioned. And the next question is, how often do you find yourself mindful during the day? If you take the full day as 100%, uh, what is the percentage uh, you are mindful, you are present, you are aware of the moment? Please feel free to unmute yourself or also use the chat. If it's uh, going to be a percentage. Anna Maria says 10 if uh, if she's lucky. Nest 20 percent. Okay. Indeed, it's something uh, I also recognize myself. It depends on I see Diana. It depends on the day. Sometimes I'm more present than others. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> And it's, uh, it's the same with me. Um, the moment you start the day and then suddenly it's over. So um, I'm fully with you, not enough. I would say 5% of the day. Indeed, and um, that's, that's the case. Uh, we talk about mindfulness, but uh, how, mind, how mindful we are. And the next question is how mindful you are right now. You can also give uh, a thumb up uh, if you are mindful, if you're also flying somewhere or still with, uh, with, your, uh, with your day. Let me show uh, with the reaction. You can use <laughs> fire. Ana Maria, much more, around 85%. That's good. I'm nicely present. Yeah. <laughs> 
great maybe 40 percent because you asked great <laughs> thank you all for sharing um indeed and i was curious how does mindfulness uh, sound in more tr uh, in a trustful uh, sources and that's what i found from the oxford dictionary it's actually the mental state uh, which is achieved by uh, concentrating on the present moment. As all of you mentioned, it's being present, being in the moment, and um, being mindful means simply accepting your emotions without judgment uh, and at the same time um, letting your mind and body to connect. So bringing the focus back uh, where you are, bringing your uh, thoughts uh, and all of yours to, to the present moment. <laughs> Thanks, Shari. And now I would like to uh, bring you to the exact moment, let's say, or uh, ask you to uh, think about one recent example that made you feel frustrated, stressed, maybe you felt uh, a lot of pressure recently. So think about uh, it for, for a few seconds. It has to be one specific example. You don't have to share it, uh, just uh, for you to, um, to know. Okay. And I would like to hear, what did you feel back then? what did your body feel what um tension was in your body or was there any tension uh what thoughts you had back then what was and where was your focus when you felt this stress tense i can start with myself uh, uh, when i'm under pressure um i feel my hands getting cold i feel um a bit of shaking in the body um, I see Ines, heart rate increase, indeed, very tense, confusion, Diana, being uh, barely feeling funny and tears in my eyes. Indeed, I also recognize this feeling when uh, uh, something like you are hungry, but you are not very hungry, uh, your stomach, stomach gives you reactions like that, tight neck, indeed, throat, yeah. That's uh, that's how our body uh, gives us the signal. Hey, I need your rec I need your focus. I need some help. So please, uh, please do something with that. And um, and it's quite uh, quite frequent uh, situation during the day. Uh, there are no cases when uh, from morning till evening you stay calm and you stay present. Uh, so those uh, situations occurs. And um, we are here today to actually learn some simple, but at the same time, effective tools that you can implement and use uh, as of today, tomorrow. And uh, the first uh, technique I would like to share with you is, uh, um, is, uh, is about breath. So what we will do now, um, we will do one simple exercise I will ask you to sit back, uh, breathe in and breathe out in your normal way. You will have 30 seconds uh, to do this uh, breath in and breath out technique. And during those 30 seconds, I will ask you to count how many breath circles you will have. Again, breath circle means inhale and exhale. So how many breath circles you will have uh, for during 30 seconds? Time is up. Um, can you share your answers in the chat? How many breath cycles you had? Six, six. Oh, Diana had three, five, Andrea, seven, 
you know, seven, <laughs> lost count. <laughs> that happened indeed. Thank you. And um, we will do this exercise one more time, but uh, the difference is only the way we do our breath cycles. So I will ask you to sit back, um, again, count your breath cycles within 30 seconds. The only difference is um, when you inhale, slow down your, um, your inhale and then make a short pause and then exhale. So it's very important that you slow down, inhale, make a short pause, and then exhale. Uh, we will do this exercise again during 30 seconds, and I will ask you to count um, again. And can you share your answers again in the chat? <clears throat> How many breath cycles you counted? In, oh, Anna Maria, 2.5, Ines, uh, Ines, 4, before it was 6, nice. Andrea, 3, from 7 to 3. Uh, what about Shari? Ah, 3, nice. <laughs> from lost count to 3, I think it's, uh, it's a good uh, progress. <laughs> Indeed. So, um, how do you feel after the second round of breast technique? What has changed? Can you think about it and uh, give your uh, thoughts in the end? Increasing holding legs. And if you down the front foot, holds means Indeed, was the music. So that's what happened with um, with the brass, which is uh, seems to be very uh, very simple things we do on a, on a daily life, on a on a timely life. Uh, we breathe in and we breathe out, but uh, we do not pay attention attention to uh, the quality of our breath. And uh, by doing this uh, simple yet effective technique, uh, slowing down your breath, uh, you will mention how um, how easy and how calm you get. Uh, you will see that your focus comes back and uh, you feel less stressed. Let me go to the next one. And... Um, the, the second uh, exercise and the second tool I would like to share with you today uh, is uh, based on my recent experience. Um, um, a, few, a few weeks ago I had, um, I had the situation, I was at work and my husband called me and shared his uh, conversation with one of our neighbors. Uh, uh, suddenly I felt Gain this tension, I felt um, uh, frustration, I felt that I was uh, lost, uh, but at the same time angry. Um, so it was hard for me to bring back the focus to, to my work. And um, I couldn't think about anything else than uh, that conversation. So what I did, um, I had a simple napkin, you know, this white uh, napkin you can find in, in, in a restaurant. Um, so I had this napkin next to me and uh, I use it as a paper. And um, 
I divided the napkin into two parts and on the left part um, I wrote down all the all the emotions, all the um, stress I felt um, and by doing so I kind of relieved um, and um, help myself to get rid of uh, this negativity and put it instead on the paper. So I would like to uh, offer this exercise to you as well. So bring uh, or take, if you have napkin, if you have old newspaper, it can be any piece of uh, paper you have next to you and divide it into two columns. And on the left one, you can write, um, you can write, um, emotions um, that you felt recently about uh, a specific case uh, when you were stressed. Uh, it can be the same, by the way, example as we used in the first uh, tool, with the first tool. So write down two, three, four, it can be um, emotions, uh, uh, feelings you had back then. recommend uh, instead if you type it's fine uh, write in four thanks Ana Maria you know if you are ready So we have on the left side our reflection, emotions, uh, this, um, notes of how we felt back then. So please take a look again on this list and uh, what I did in my example. Uh, I sat back, I made again an uh, inhale and exhale. And um, I started thinking how, how can I uh how can i change this situation what can i do already instead of taking the position of okay i am um i'm pissed off i am uh, uh, i'm frustrated uh on the right side of the napkin i wrote down simple but clear steps what i can do to change my focus and change uh, the direction of the situation so i suggest you to do the same uh, i will share my example how i did it so, for example, you see, I felt pressure and tensity in my body. Simple step you can make already is take a walk or stand up, um, do squats or do push-ups. Uh, that will uh, energize your body and at the same time uh, bring uh, energy and bring um, uh, fresh air to your, uh, to your minds. Uh, so it can be very simple uh, steps that uh, change the direction of your minds. A long story short, um, after doing this exercise, so uh, I will ask you to do the same. Please uh, write on the right side uh, of your piece of paper what actions you can already uh, implement or take uh, to solve uh, the current situation you have. Talking about my example, um, it changed um, the person, uh, um, the person who annoyed me uh, 
<laughs> stopped doing so and uh, it was very very surprisingly It can be it can be both uh, short term and uh, longer term actions uh, whatever feels close to close to you and uh, whatever resonates with you How are you doing? I see Anna Maria, Andrea is still noting, writing down, waiting. Um, and I would like to ask you to unmute yourself uh, and um, and share your thoughts. How how are you feeling about this um, exercise? Um, any comments? Uh, maybe what what uh, solutions came to your mind uh, on your recent uh, situation? Again, you don't have to share any details about your uh, situation. It's more about uh, more in general. Ana Maria, oh, uh, Shari, do you want to share? Yeah, I was going to say I couldn't think of one. I was frustrated too, and I couldn't think of one, so I just stole yours, <laughs> and that made me realize like it could be helpful just to have some things pre-written down that you could go to because writing what you wrote, just rewriting it, really helped me reframe it. So thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Shari, for sharing. Anna Maria, you also had uh, some thoughts. Uh, um, the the situation, so I felt helplessness, anger, alienation, sadness, unfairness, um, and I, I, as I feel these feelings, uh, it's the versus a situation that I feel it's very out of my control. Um, and so it was really hard to put things on the on the right side, but you forcing us to do that and me having to find what to write there helped me to go inside and change something in me. And, I, and then you realize, oh, I can control something. So it gives you back some sort of form of control and things I can do. So it is a bit a bit reassuring. Thank you, Anna Maria. Uh, we also had uh, Irena. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, my my feelings were anger, frustration, uh, not trusting, unhappy, betrayed, and sad. And uh, the funny thing is, when I feel these things, I usually talk to myself or say the things that I would have told the negative things that I would have told this person if I. If they were standing in front of me, I say them out loud before I do anything. And then now I sit back and and reflect on how I'm going to deal with the situation. And it actually uh, lessens the, the bad energy that I would uh, project on the other person. Um, it's a, Well, I live alone, so don't try this if you live with people unless you can lock yourself in a place. So it actually helps to mouth those negative things. I think they get out of your body and then now you can deal with the other things. But but yes, thank you for for the the other uh, tip on writing things down. So uh, I think I should be writing them down after that. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for sharing, Irene. 
we also have uh, a comment from uh, Diana. Yeah, so my emotions were stress, fear and confusion. And one of the things that I very often do is do the four, seven, eight breath because that always calms me down. And another thing that I find very useful is take my dog and go for a walk in the woods or focus on something like handwork or, or actually work because I do enjoy what I do for a living. And sometimes that just helps me out of it as well. So, yeah. Thank those you. kind of things. <laughs> Thank you all for your comments. Indeed, um, it's all about uh, what are we going to do with uh, with our, um, let's say, negative emotion emotions, uh, how we coping with them. And um, and the third uh, tool I would like uh, to share with you today is um, you. I'm pretty sure you all of uh, all of you heard about it. Is uh, uh, a tool of uh, appreciation uh, or gratitude. So think again about five moments of the day you are grateful for. Um, I can imagine it's um, in our fast uh, moving and turbulent um, world is uh, can be hard to find at least one thing to be grateful for, but uh, it doesn't have to be something very big. It can be a small, tiny detail that uh, put a smile on your face today. And um, for example, this is what made me uh, grateful and uh, today. So person X is not bothering me anymore. Um, I had me time. Uh, me time is, um, <laughs> um, is just uh, 20 minutes in the morning when uh, when my husband and my baby are downstairs and I can simply read and have a cup of coffee. Um, so in driving lessons, those tiny little details that make you feel cozy, make you feel um, well and uh, happy inside. So think about your five things you are grateful for today. It doesn't have to be written. If you wish, you can do it also in written, but you can also just uh, think about them. By the way, it's also by the way, it's also a good practice to do either early in the morning or late in the evening. It's like a great ending or beginning of your day, and it gives a great um, great start. And you will see how um, easy it can go afterwards. <laughs> Thanks, Anna Maria. So, and here we are. Uh, can you put the, um, the reaction where you are right now in this scale of uh, emotions? I don't think we can stand or I can stand. I can't either. No. Uh -huh. 
Okay, good. Can you? Well, at least you can uh, you can also type in the chat. You can unmute yourself. You can use uh, reaction. We don't have that big variety of um, emotion, though. Calm, Anna Maria. Happy, Ines, very great to hear. Calm, pleasant. Wow, good to hear. Okay. And um, to also um, to rule. Uh, to remember the, the the tools we use today and we practice, uh, uh, you can use this checklist uh, on a daily basis. Uh, feel free to adjust it, or uh, even if you use just one technique, uh, it's already uh, it's already good. It's already enough uh, as long as it makes you happy. As long as as it uh, bring your focus back, then it means uh, uh, you did a good job. So we did today slow down the breath journaling, uh, which is also self-reflection. Uh, it's the name of the practice we used with the napkin um, and the gratitude moment. <laughs> Thank you, Anna Maria, for, for the comments about the music. Indeed, music also helps, by the way. It can be additional tool to, uh, to use during the day. You can use your headset uh, when you are sitting in the open space uh, and bring your focus back. And the question to you is, what is your mindful takeaway from this session? Okay, the key takeaway we have, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, uh, three different and simple techniques I can use to practice mindfulness. Um, as you see, it doesn't have to be something very complicated. It, it's not, um, not always necessary to take your mats uh, and go to the yoga class or uh, have some special equipment. Uh, you, can, uh, you can use um, just press technique or uh, taking your dog and going outside uh, to get some fresh air. Remember to take the time for mindfulness through the day indeed. And I hope your percentage will increase uh, with using these techniques. I want to commit to journaling daily. Yeah, it's a good one. Uh, you've been... I also got reminded how much breathing helps and I also did something I should have done a while back. Great. So I will end the poll. And um, thank you all for your, uh, for your notes. Um, and it, you don't need, as I said, you don't need much uh, to bring your focus back. Everything you need is you, uh, you and only you. And uh, with these three simple uh, yet effective um, um, methodologies, instruments, tools, um, you can bring back your focus throughout the day. And I would like to ask um, at this 
point of our session, I uh, want to ask you to share your feedback. Um, as I said in the beginning, the reason I'm doing this session is to practice my presentation skills, is to uh, check my stress, uh, strengths as a facilitator. And I would like to hear your, uh, your tips, your feedback in the poll. It's also possible if you want to unmute yourself and uh, speak up. Everything is more than welcome. So um, maybe I can share. Um, um, uh, congratulations. It was a very nice session. I did enjoy it a lot. And uh, one thing that I, I think um, adds value to the session is being uh, being about practice, the practice of mindfulness and being about uh, relaxation, breathing techniques. You have a very nice voice to do it. So it helps to um, practice those techniques and help us relax as well. So thank you so much. Thank you, Anas. Trust yourself, you do. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we can end the poll. At this point, I would like to thank you all for coming by uh, at the end of the day for dedicating time to mindfulness. Uh, uh, I wish you all to to have this mindful and uh, present moment um, more often. And uh, I wish you all uh, a great evening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hosting. You did really Thank well. You. <laughs> um, and I want to share something with you. Can I? Sure. <laughs> I really liked it because I, I, I thought that maybe we'll have more opportunities to give feedback. That's why. Um, well done. Uh, I loved it also because I needed it. So I think it's uh, it helps when your participants are coming in for a session that they really need. So I, as I saw it pop in my calendar, I was like, oh, yes, <laughs> I have a, an excuse to unwind. Uh, you were very calm, I felt very centered. Um, I like that you kept the pace of time. Um, I didn't feel that it was dragged. And maybe in here, I at times I felt, is there, I like that you used the poll, um, but the session was so small and I wonder if it would have led to maybe some richer insights into personal experiences with the set tools if we would have shared verbally or maybe in a small breakout or something like that, additionally to the polls. Mm -hmm. um, great use of music. And I like that you share the, one of them, the second tool was something that you said you used yourself. So I thought like, oh, wow, she experimented with that and now she's sharing it with us. I really like that. I think we all know kind of the breathing ones and the gratitude, but the second one was like, oh, with the writing down and then you kind of reframe that. I like that. And and you brought your personal experiences, which is always really nice. Uh, you came across very genuine. And thank you very much. We also have uh, Shari. Hi, um, plus one to all that. I thought that was fantastic. Um, I guess that's kind of uh, one area of growth maybe is giving us a little more space there for that feedback. Um, people need time sometimes to reflect on that. Um, I know personally you record these, which is super important for review, but then also maybe that's why people don't want to say like personal things knowing it's recorded. So uh, that's a balance, right? Um, I like that you made us feel safe. Like, don't worry, you don't have to actually share the specifics. You just can think about it. So I thought you did a really nice job on that. 
Um, but I agree with Ana Maria saying that like it might have been nice too for some of us to get it off our chest, maybe in a breakout <laughs> where we knew it was private. I just want to commend you for practicing because that's what it takes. And it's it's really it takes a lot of practice, um, you know, no matter how long you've done this. I do think it's interesting because you want to like play with all the butter features. But for mindfulness, I kind of agree, like pulling back a little bit on some of the features might have uh, made the space feel more open for us just to share share this space together but overall you did fantastic and i needed it too so thank you so much it was really beautiful thank you shari i think we are we are good yeah we don't have any more feedback Again, thank you all for, for sharing, for, for being open and to also help us to create this space of, uh, um, of trust, of uh, calmness. Um, so I, I wish you to proceed the same uh, the rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye bye everyone. <laughs> thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Bye.